For years I tried to get honey out of cells that were still in their hexagon shape. Now, honey's so sticky, the surface tension and viscosity means that even if you cut the back off and the front off and you put it like that, the honey doesn't want to fall out. So then I started making piston plungers that cast and go down cells to actually push the honey out with a, another piece that was had the capping on it, was going to move away and then the piston plungers would push the honey out in between those two pieces and that would fall down inside the hive. But it was elaborate and needed lots of moving parts and I thought there had to be a better way than that. So then I came up with breaking the honey came apart. Now that was a eureka moment. One morning I woke up and went, ah, it doesn't have to be honeycomb cells all the time. It could be honeycomb cells when the bees fill it and then change into something else when it's time to drain the honey. So then I started making things like this where two parts would come together to form hexagon cells but then in the hive they could move apart allowing the honey to flow down inside to a collection trough and out of the hive. So that turned into this prototype here which actually has a diaphragm operating the parts and if I suck on this tube you can actually see them move. <laughs> and just do it one more time. Can you see that the parts separated? And then formed again for the bees to fill up. So that method actually works, but it's so much more complicated. And it was actually my dad after a few cups of coffee one morning went, oh, how about instead of breaking it in the horizontal fashion, it could be like this. And straight away I scrapped everything I was doing and soon we had a prototype and then we got into 3D printing and here's a, a 3D printed version. So if you have a look at these cells here, it's a bit dusty this one, there's actually a cam running like this through the top here to move these parts. So this was probably the first real significant honey flow out of a hive. So we had a spanner on the outside of the box and we turned it, the cone moved and it still works. You can see it there, breaking the cells. And then it's running on a cam this one, so if I keep turning around, the cells just come back together again. And the honey flowed out of the box. I remember it so clearly down in the paddock, just going unbelievable. We've achieved the beekeeper's dream. I guess as an inventor you sit there in your shed for years and years hoping and dreaming that it's going to be successful, but you don't know. You might just be another paranoid inventor who thinks they've invented something that's going to be amazing in the world when actually nobody wants it. So the mind tends to flip between, oh it's going to be amazing and maybe it's not. But it's that thinking that it's going to be amazing that keeps you going. Mm -hmm.